In order to understand what happens in the brain as we become addicted, I like to use this extended metaphor of a pleasure pain balance. Imagine that you have a teeter totter or seesaw in that reward circuit in, in, in our brains. Um, and that represents how we process pleasure and pain because one of the very interesting findings to me of the last 50 to 75 years of neuroscience is that pleasure and pain are co-located. So the yeah, same parts of the brain amazing. that, yeah, yeah it, it is really wow. interesting, right? It is. Yeah. Uh, that we're processing pleasure and pain in the same way. And in many ways, if you're going to kind of really capture this idea of homeostasis, this metaphor of a balance, that when we experience pleasure, the balance tips one way. When we experience pain, it tips in the opposite direction. And there are certain rules governing this balance. The first and most important rule is that the balance wants to remain level to the ground or what neuroscientists call homeostasis. In fact, the one of the main driving forces for all living organisms is to maintain and restore homeostasis so that with any deviation from neutrality, our brains will work very hard to bring that balance back to a level position. So for example, I read a romance novel, eat a piece of chocolate, watch a good movie that releases dopamine, our reward neurotransmitter in a dedicated circuit of the brain called the reward pathway. My balance tilts to the side of pleasure. But no sooner has that happened than these neuroadaptation gremlins hop on the pain side of the balance to bring it level again. The gremlins represent this process of neuroadaptation, which is the way that our brain adapts to that increased dopamine firing, for example, down-regulating dopamine production, involuting postsynaptic dopamine receptors, um, all of which is in the pursuit of decreasing dopamine transmission back down to tonic baseline levels of firing. But the thing about those gremlins is they like it on the balance, so they don't get off as soon as we're level. They stay on until it's tilted an equal and opposite amount to the side of pain. That's the come down, the hangover, the blue Monday, or just that moment of wanting one more piece of chocolate, even while I'm still eating the first one, wanting to watch one more TikTok video, even before the first one has ended, um, being unable to uh, push the stop button when it says next episode on my Netflix series, right? That's That kind of craving is created by that sort of temporary or transient dopamine deficit state represented by the gremlins on the pain side of the balance staying on until we're to the side of pain. Now, if we wait long enough between use, those gremlins will hop off and homeostasis will be restored. But the key, the key here to understanding what's happening in the brain is that for every pleasure, we pay a price. Sometimes we're aware of it, an obvious hangover. Sometimes it's outside of conscious awareness. But what goes up must come down before going back to that level position. Okay, so now what happens if we don't wait for those gremlins to hop off in between use, but instead we continue to use over days to weeks to months to years, which we're obviously prone to do in an environment where we have easy access. Because when those gremlins are on the pain side of the balance, we are looking for the next hit in order to restore us back to homeostasis. Because remember that drive to homeostasis is overwhelming, right? The organism and, and wants to go back there. Can I ask you, are the gremlins, maybe this isn't neuroscientific, but is it that they're doing that because they want us to stop engaging in the pleasure in some sense? Is there that d in, innate desire for like s sanity, I guess, or that's where I kind of, I, I can't quite grasp sort of how that keeps us in addiction. Is it because it's so painful that we just keep seeking out the momentary pleasure? To, to yeah, like yeah. so a, a couple things there. I think your first, the first part of your question is like, why would Mother Nature make yeah, us have right. to go to the pain side after being at the pleasure side? Why not just yeah, yeah. write the balance and have us be level and have the gremlins hop off at that point? Right. You know, it's a great question. And um, when, when you think about the world in which humans have existed for most of our time on planet Earth, it has been a world of scarcity an ever-present danger where our survival was constantly uncertain. If you want to survive in a world of scarcity and ever-present danger, what better way uh, to optimize survival than, than to make sure that every pleasurable experience is fleeting and is furthermore followed by pain right. such that we are eternal seekers, never satisfied with what we have, always wanting more.
So this is actually a great system in which we have to do a lot of work up front to get a little bit of pleasure. It's a terrible system in which we have to do almost no work at all to get an enormous and constant supply of pleasure. And that is, of course, the world that we live in today, which gets us to what essentially the second part of your question, which is, well, what what is what's happening in the brain as we get addicted? Essentially, with repeated exposure to highly reinforcing drugs and behaviors, and they all, by the way, work by the same final common pathway, releasing dopamine in the reward circuitry, those gremlins start to multiply, right? Because we're, we're essentially at war with those gremlins. So now we're getting more and more and more gremlins on the pain side of the balance. Now there are enough gremlins there to fill this whole room. And eventually they're camped, they're camped out there, tents and barbecues in tow. They're in residence, okay? And once that happens, now we're entering into addicted brain where we've essentially changed our hedonic set point. Sometimes this is referred to as allostasis. So contrary to homeostasis, allostasis is a state of having to really work extra hard and change our internal baseline in order to adapt to the environment, the environment being the fire hose of dopamine releasing substances and behaviors. So now what's happened is now we're walking around with a balance that's chronically tilted to the side of pain which means we need more of our drug and more potent forms, not to feel good, but just to level the balance and feel normal. And here's a really important piece. When we're not using, our balance is tilted to the side of pain. We're in a chronic dopamine deficit state where we've changed our hedonic set point and we're experiencing the universal symptoms of withdrawal from any addictive substance, which are anxiety, irritability, insomnia, depression, and craving. And it is that craving loop that overwhelming craving to get back to homeostasis that drives the completely irrational and all-consuming behavior that constitutes a severe addictive disease. 